On this episode of Travels with Bill, we're in the Riding Mountain National Park checking out what's going on in Wasagaming in the middle of winter. And if you're like me and thought nothing happens here when there's snow, you couldn't be more wrong. On today's episode, we'll show you skating, snowshoeing, and even some bicycling. We'll start out here though, you'll recognize the lake house from summer. Now normally this would be full of people and there wouldn't be any snow, but check it out. They've decked the place out for winter. The heaters are there, a little enclosed area as well, and look at the decorations. Isn't it beautiful? They've been ready for Christmas, but the lights are still here, and all through the winter season, the lake house is certainly a place you may want to stop in for some great times while you're in Wasagaming. Clear Lake, of course, is sometimes the more common name for this place. Officially, it is called Wasagaming, but you'll hear lots of people saying, we're going to Clear Lake, and they mean they're coming to this very town. Boy, there's a lot of snow, isn't there? Before we get too far, I want to show you a couple familiar places so you see what they're like in winter, like the boardwalk. Now in the summer, you'd be lining up here for ice cream and all sorts of food, maybe doing a little shopping. In the winter, you can't even get to the place for snow. But don't worry, that iconic red lawn chair is still here. And of course, it's being used in winter for pictures too. So you can come on, get a photo of yourself here, and it's certainly a lot different than those summer photos. Gosh, the snow's so incredibly deep. But check it out, there's some winter stuff too. Here's a heated place they've got going for you to warm up before you go skating. An outdoor skating rink set up in the park so you can have some fun. Couple folks out here doing that now. But it's not just the rink itself. If you're thinking you're limited to the square, not at all. They have made skating paths throughout the park. Check it out, see where there'd normally be a walkway? Well, now it's all iced over so you can skate along this and go all through the trees it's so cool. They even have lights hung in the trees, so at night there'd be a little bit of light here to see by too. Very nice looking. Now you wonder to yourself, how do they make these paths? So we actually came down here on a day they were doing some path maintenance so we could show you how they turn out. Now you might think it's a lawnmower, but in winter time it's not. It's actually got a brush on the front to brush the snow out of the way, and then of course a water tank added to it too. It just drives down the paths, adds more water to them. Of course that freezes in a few minutes time, and you're ready to go with a fresh flood of ice for the skating path to enjoy. You know, we saw some people going by these just before they did the flooding. They were flying by, it looked like such a great time. But see that thing off in the corner? Well, there's more going on here than just a skating path too. There's lots to see because they have added some snow sculptures to Riding Mountain Park for the winter time. And they're very, very well done. Now the sculptures were carved from some folks from Winnipeg. They came out here to do the work. You may think, well, Festival de Voyageur, of course. People in Winnipeg know how to make amazing snow sculptures. Check out this guy. Now I think he's just the top of an eagle sticking out, but see the eyes? They're so cool, and if you get in really close here, you can actually see through the eyes right through the sculpture. That is so incredibly neat. Well, in fact, you could actually go in there. See the sculpture? It's hollowed out in the back, so you can actually go in this guy and look out the eyes too. And look at how that snow has worked so nice. It's all iced over, so it's safe to be in there. It's actually got a bit of a blue tinge to it. Very cool indeed. That's probably one of my favorite ones, but there's several sculptures and they're on this ice trail. So when you're skating, you can actually go right by them. Now, if you don't have skates, you can do what I did, just sort of sneak along the edge of the trail and see them anyway. Here's the bunny rabbit. In the background, of course, that's where you normally have the bands playing in the summertime, but the hare has taken over. That is one big bunny, but look how amazing it looks. I have to admit, I could never carve snow to look like that, but those that can make it look so incredible. Here's a wolf, or maybe it's a coyote. Now I imagine a lot of people could tell the difference. I can't. <laughs> Usually by size you can if it's out in the field. Here's that ice path again, even a little fork in the road so you can choose which way you're going to go and end up spinning back around and heading on back to the main skating rink there. So is it a coyote or is it a wolf? Well, you can probably put some answers in the comments for me and let me know exactly what you think it is. It's pretty big though, so I'm going to go with wolf because wolves are always bigger than coyotes. Here's a beaver. We can agree for sure on what he is, but we can also agree on this. If you see a beaver this size coming at you, well, you better not look like a tree or you could be in a lot of trouble. It's one of the ice sculptures sort of out on the main drag, so you'll see this one for sure, even just driving by. When you see it, just walk down the path. You'll find all those other ones I was showing you as well. 
wanted to show you this too. This is the little uh, museum interpretive center. What I really want to show you is the path in the snow. There's a lot of snow in Manitoba this year. So certainly here at Riding Mountain, there's lots of snow too, but they've got it all shoveled all the way for you. So you can do some little paths around here if you want to go for a walk. The day we were here was crisp and clear, maybe a touch cold as well, but the snow was just amazing looking. It felt like being in a winter wonderland. Certainly at Christmas, it would be cool to come see all this too, but here on a February day, oh, look at the snow and how nice it is. You can see right down the main drag there. In fact, it's so nice. I want to show you this. I, I know, maybe I'm sentimental, but look at the tree, look at the sky. Isn't that an amazing blue sky? And to just see the tree up against it, well, you've got to be there for full effect, I suppose. Look who we found going by. Some bicycle riders. In the middle of winter, you say? Check out the tires. They're really big, special tires. They're kind of like snow tires. You know, you put snow tires on your car. Well, snow tires on the bikes. They're big. You think to yourself, wouldn't it be nice to go biking? Well, you can. Those bikes are for rent. We're here at the Friends of Riding Mountain National Park Learning Center, and they've got a lot going on, including those bike rentals so you can tool around town on a bicycle. Looks like the bear and the moose are ready to go too. They've got their toboggan out to enjoy the winter. <laughs> it's kind of cool, isn't it? This little blog building is the Friends Building. We're gonna go in there in a second, but let's take a look outside first. Here's some snow tubes you can rent as well. So if you wanna go sliding on one of the hills, certainly you can grab a tube and go. So you don't have to bring it from home. Of course you can. The bikes are probably the coolest thing. Cause I don't think a lot of us have those snow tire bikes at home. If we look around the parking lot a little bit, hey, they've got snow sculptures too. There's a Lego block. Isn't it done very well? I, it's kind of cool. I don't think I've ever seen a Lego block in snow before, but this one is certainly worth taking a peek at. Now this guy, I suppose, could be an alien, could be a bug, but check out the antennas on it. It's made out of icicles. What a cool idea. Then a couple sticks in there for arms. And we've also got a little bit of a, well, I think this is probably a coyote, this one. I was asking George from Friends of Riding Mountain how these snow sculptures are made. He said it's actually a competition they run to see who can make the best snow sculpture. Well, this one you may think is in the running for big square, but really it's not. This is what a snow sculpture looks like before they start carving. Just a big block of snow and then you come at this with chisels and knives and whatever. How do you make the block though? Well, it's these guys right here it's just some osb and then tied together into a square pack it full of snow leave it for a little while and presto you're ready to make a snow sculpture at home too try it out if you get a chance it's kind of cool and once you get good come to the park and display it we've headed inside the building here look at all the snowshoes ready to go so if you're thinking of going snowshoeing they can certainly set you up with that as well now what of the things they do here at the Friends is they have lots of information. So there's the brochure rack, some souvenirs on the go as well. We're gonna take a little bit of a look around the store, some books, some homemade things. Like I shouldn't say homemade, small business made things. So lots of local products from here in Manitoba are available. Of course, you can grab some clothing too. Now, one of the interesting things that happens sometimes at the park is folks come from all over the world and they don't always get the idea it's winter time. In fact, folks have shown up in the park expecting it to be summer from another country. And they get here and there's a bit of a surprise going on, right? When they find out, wait a minute, it's all snowy. Well, sometimes they don't have any sweaters or big jackets or anything, so it's not a big surprise. They have some of that here in the store so you can grab some of these things. In summer, of course, there's a lot of souvenir stores on the go at Riding Mountain Park, but in winter, the Friends is one of the neat places you can go to. They are open all winter doing those rentals, and of course, they've got the souvenirs too. See the book rack? Lots of local books there all sorts of things about the local area. So you can check out some books. Certainly you'll find something there that's worth taking home to read. Some more displays, some more clothing. Wow, it's a place that's a must see spot. It is open year round, so you can come here in the summer as well. But if you manage to make it for the winter, wouldn't it be cool to drop by and see it? Some stuffed animals too. There's a buffalo book, but check out this guy. Isn't he so cute? Oh, absolutely he is. You know, if you haven't already subscribed to Travels with Bill, we'd love to have you hit that subscribe button. You'll see all our new videos. This is the main beach at Riding Mountain National Park in the Wasagaming Town site area. And it's pretty snowy looking, pretty icy looking, and it doesn't look a lot like a beach at all, does it? If you know the area, here's the bridge going across to the marina. It's snowed over, but you can certainly go for a walk there. And proof, I suppose, that we're on the beach. If you take a look down at our feet, you find out Yep, there's the sand that you'd be playing beach volleyball on. 
Well, if you've never been here in the summer, maybe we should take just a second to show you what it looks like if we get rid of the snow. We'll snap our fingers and suddenly it becomes summertime. This is from one of our other episodes about wasagaming in the summer. Search it up on the channel to see all about what this place is like when the sun shines and the grass is green. Oh, it's a beautiful spot, really. Thousands of people come here in the summer to enjoy the lake, enjoy the sand, but the wintertime, not that bad of an idea either, and certainly worth traveling around a little bit. Okay, I'm addicted to seeing summer, because as much as you like snow, you're always kind of ready for an end. Well, check out the snow on this guy. It's one of those little information booths they have. A big pile of snow on him. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? The cars are covered over in snow, too. That'll all be gone in a what, five, six months? It'll eventually be summertime in August. Well, if you want to wait for summer like the rest of us, maybe you should just pull up a lawn chair and enjoy a winter day. Farewell for now from Wasagaming in Riding Mountain National Park in beautiful and friendly Manitoba. We'll see you next time on Travels with Bill.